Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one kid idiot Dave Coco, who has a podcast and streams on YouTube Coco Sports and Twitch Coco Sports. And this is running a little bit late. Uh, me and my wife have been very sick the last few days, but I got tickets to 1 2 and 1 4. This is a Wrestle Kingdom 18 1 4 in the Tokyo Dome uh, preview, uh, pay per view profits, if you will. Put your predictions down below. And when it comes to New Japan and All Japan and NOAA, I just feel like these are big events and we're going to see where they can go. A lot of presidents are stepping down. Um, a lot of Japanese fans want a certain product a certain way. And we're hoping when it comes to New Japan that President Ace Tanahashi knows where we're going. I feel like, all right, this is the end of the last president. Maybe the end of Ghetto. I don't know, but it's definitely the beginning of the ace. And hopefully, it'll be great. Um, and I'm saying worldwide, it would be great. I, I feel like the people that live in Japan and the people that say that watch it and those that actually watch it and then those that, you know, I, I feel like it is... So crazy different when you read New Japan news in English compared to Japan. And I want to change that in 2024. Um, I see a lot of people out there. I saw one person. I don't want to pick on her. She's like, we got to be positive. I'm like, no, you don't. We got to be it's so much negativity in the world. Oh, we got to crush everything. It's like, no. In 2024, just have a genuine voice. I feel like... You benefit too much being positive. You benefit too much being negative. And I just want to have a genuine voice. And I want, I hope that it starts a trend of, neg of what's the word I'm looking for? Genuine voices moving forward. So I was looking for a different word. I couldn't think of it. So let's just go with genuine. You know, let's just grind it into the ground. I do got my tickets. I got the cheap seats just because... Uh, I, I think it's not the perfect show, but it's a good show and I'm glad to be there. And it's also a celebration of pro wrestling. I'm reading the uh, card off NJPW1972.com and I'm excited to see. First off, I'm just glad that no time limit king of pro wrestling 2024 Rambo is back. It's kind of like the Japan rumble, but eh, I don't know. Is it too nerdy? Me and my friends were arguing that the, the Rambo and the no, no time limit King of PW 2024 Rambo. I'm like, oh, it's just like Japan Rumble. And like, it's not Japan Rumble. It is, it isn't. Ah, but anyway, we get to see a lot of different people go on. And I believe they're going to be the King of PW uh, 2024 champ. I hope they just get rid of titles. There's too many titles. And that's every pro wrestling company in every country. I, I just think there there isn't many companies that you can list that don't have too many titles. WWE, AEW, Impact, MLW. All right, too many titles. All right, let's go to Japan. New Japan, too many titles. Noah, too many titles. All Japan, too many titles. Dragon Gate, too many titles. I just feel like most companies have too many titles. There are one or two or three companies that have a little bit of titles, but also the bigger companies are like, oh, we got a new title. We got a new title. We got a new title. It's like, I don't know. I, I This ain't a New Japan thing as much of a pro wrestling thing, but I hope in 2024, instead of belt collectors, we have belt destroyers. And now I know they kind of did that. They destroyed two belts to give us one, but at the same time, one of those belts was a copy of another belt. And Anyway, let's move on. Um, so here we go. I, IWGP uh, Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match. The first match of the night. You got uh, Francesco Akara and TJP. I saw TJP wrestle in front of six people in the middle of the woods. True story. And now look at him. Starting off the kingdom. God bless. Guys, check out your local indies. Support your local indies. It's amazing. Some of the wrestlers I got to see before they became stars. Roderick, AJ, Kenny, Abushi. You get to see these stars and then like, oh man, they're main eventing everywhere. Yeah, I never thought <laughs> I'd see TJP at Wrestle Kingdom, but here he is and I'm rooting for him. He is going against uh, <coughs> Bullet Club, Drill Drilla Maloney, and Clark Connors. I'm rooting for TJP. Um, but I think Bullet Club is going to win this. I still think it's more of a merch thing, but I could be wrong. 
my heart says TJP. My head says Bullet Club. Just, you know, if you're going to run, if you're going to run 486 shows a fucking year, I'm being a little bit sarcastic. Don't do the same shit over and over and over and over again. Um, the more shows you run, you either have to separate the rosters, have less five on fives, and definitely mix up the entrances. Uh, Clark Connors, fucking the love of God, just walk down to the goddamn ring. <laughs> just walk down to the ring and have a great match. <laughs> well, no, you're the bad foreigners because you wear leather. You don't have to throw shit around, jerk. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think this is going to be a great match. Uh, I'm rooting for TJP. All right, 15 minute time limit. Mwah. Chef's kiss. I love it. Uh, a New Japan World TV Championship match. I I want President Ace to win this. That's what my heart says. That's what my fanboy says. I'm buying a Tanihashi t shirt. Go Ace, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Sex Saber Jr. has to win this on multiple levels. One, you become president and you win. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Are you ghetto? Get out of here. I actually don't win. Shut up. Just shut up. I'll choke the life out of you, ghetto. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. President Ace is going to tell him, have a wonderful day. And he's going to leave. And he's going to walk right past Noah and off to a fucking cliff. Uh, you don't have to. Maybe you just spend time with your fucking family. Live happily ever after. Start a Twitch and YouTube channel. I'll fucking support it. Will not book for food. I love it. I love it. Let's make it happen. Vince McMahon gave me that deal. <laughs> uh, I think this title is perfect for Sack Saber Jr. If you're going to have a title, have it have a gimmick. And I think Sack Saber Jr. is so much of a better wrestler when he has some hustle behind that muscle. And the 15 minute time limit is perfect for him. I love everything about this. My heart says Tanahashi, but I feel like. This is going to be an unpopular opinion. I feel without this title, Sack Saber Jr. is a waste. I do. I think him and his title are perfect. I think, I think it, it's like Marine Corps Rifleman. Without my rifle, I am worthless. Without me, my rifle is worthless. All right? The New Japan World TV Championship is worthless with Zack Saber Jr. Zack Saber Jr. is worthless with the New Japan World TV Championship match. It's perfect. Keep them together. And yeah, not all met Zack Sabre Jr. matches suck, but enough to. Okay. Um, Zack Sabre Jr. is one of those guys you're like, holy fuck, this is amazing. Oh my fucking God, this is the most overhyped piece of shit ever. And I want to fucking punch myself in the face. Two, two, two different fucking types of matches. But the 15 minute time limit and a New Japan World TV Championship match with Zack Sabre Jr chef's kiss perfect keep it going i'm sorry president ace you have to make the great sacrifice okay with great power comes great responsibility fire ghetto fire ghetto all right moving on the future my boy yota tozuji the future just don't fuck it up man all, right, all you do is you give Yoda Tazuji everything and he'll fix the company. Yoda Tazuji, I love everything about this motherfucker and he is the future of King of Sports. All I ask you. All right, I'm going to pray. Misawa, Terry Funk, Hashimoto. Do not let this kid be talked out of having great matches because of shitty veterans. Question here. If you're like, oh, what, well, Dave, what's a shitty veteran? Have you ever... This is a shitty veteran. Sit down, veterans. If you're a pro wrestler and you call yourself a vet, sit down. This is when you know you're a shitty fucking veteran. There's an easy test. Did you tell someone that they don't have to do everything in a match to get over... And slow it down, kid. And you gotta work the crowd. And all that bullshit. And at the same time say, this generation is weak and they couldn't hang back in the day. You are and always will be a piece of shit. A piece of shit. A piece of shit. 
I actually can't slow it down. Work the crowd. <laughs> oh, kids these days, they just don't get it. <laughs> Back in my day, wrestling was fucking great. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. All right, moving on. Yoda Tezuji will be taking on uh, Yuya Yamura. Uh, Yoda Tezuji has to win this. Just give him everything. Yoda, don't fucking just be you. Don't you dare fucking tap any two. You fucking nail him! Tap, 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 tap. Ooh, I'm Okada. Look at me. I drink with a pinky out. Uh-uh, bitch. You go out there and you fucking have the spirit. The fighting fucking spirit that this company needs. Go out there, fucking smack him in the face. Hit him with so many fucking clotheslines that you guys are like, what? Does I impact wrestling? Show him what the king of sports and strong style can do, you son of a bitch. That's all I'm asking to you, Tsuji. You've been absolutely fucking fantastic, except during the tag league, you did a run-in. That was weak sauce, brother. Don't bring the weak sauce. You don't change. You change them. You don't change. You change them. You don't change. You change them. Greatest fucking chant ever. All right. Yoda Tezuji is the future. He probably won't win because they'll fucking try to humble him and make the great mid card there is today. Ace. Look at me, President Ace. Salute. You and this young kid Okada before he was married and became Roger Dorn. Look at this. Look at this motherfucker. That's Okada now. Look at him. Oh, he's so fucking great. <laughs> yeah, fucking Roger Dorn of pro wrestling. But there used to be an Okada that had to eye of the fucking tiger. The eye of the lion, if you will. And you... And this king, yo! You three put the fucking company on their back. And you didn't listen to those old fucks that told you to slow down. You didn't listen to those old fucks. You carried New Japan to new heights. And now, uh, outside of the English commentary, everyone knows we're in a downfall. You need the ace. To fucking go to Yoda Tezuji. Not fucking President Ace, but the Ace who saved the fucking company with Nakamura and Okada. And you tell him, we need you now more than ever. That's what you whisper right in his fucking ear. You bring up his ear right here and you say, Yoda, we need you now more than ever. And he's like, God, don't tell me like the crowd. We need you now more than ever. The, 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 the. Now more than ever. More than ever. So hopefully Yoda Tezuji wins. And hopefully him and you have a hell of a fucking match. Next. Uh, mo money. Mo spoilers. Mo money. Mo spoilers. There's this Japanese phrase that's been going around all of Japan. Mo money. Mo spoilers. <sighs> New Japan taking on Noah. <sighs> New Japan wins. Noah taking on All Japan. <sighs> Noah wins. All Japan taking on Dragon Gate. <sighs> All Japan wins. Stop. President Ace. They already fucking kicked the All Japan out. I don't even know about fucking Noah. We'll just fucking pack his shit up nice and neat and send his ass out too. Ace. That's what I fucking need from you here, buddy. That's what I fucking need from you. Put in the best fucking matches you can and not give a fuck about tribalism. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kiyomiya will most likely put over Evil Ren Narita, but... <laughs> Unless the ace pulls, pulls Mitri aside and says, you know, it's different now. It's 2024. The days of 2023, mo' money, mo' spoilers are over. That's what I want. And we got Noah at one, two. 
We got All Japan and won three going against WWE. And then we got you. Could this be the year we kill? Mo money, mo spoilers. The first step starts with you, Tanahashi. Uh, Jimmy and Shota should win this, but they're not going to. Evil and Ren Narita are. This was a thrown together match because they want to work together, but not actually work together. Do the fucking bare minimum. <laughs> Oh, man. Work together. Okay. Uh, the, the fucking New Japan, All Japan, and, no and Noah work together the same way as that one friend who's like, oh, yeah, remember that one time I told you to put your character in your novel outside? Yeah, he went outside. So I was wondering, can I put my name on the book? Remember that one time I said I like wrestling and you wrote a whole novel about it? I was wondering, can I get some of that fucking money from that book? <laughs> uh, um, I don't care. It's either good wins or evil wins. And worse yet, the real evil might win. Shota and Ren built up a storyline to be forced together by some bullshit work together tag and Kiyomiya has been raked over the fucking coals by Noah and New Japan so much that he is now the Japanese Dolph Ziggler and evil's gonna be there so yay um my heart says Kiyomiya and Yumino uh, Shoto will win Kaito and Shoto. That's Kaito and Shoto. Shoto and Kaito will win. I mean, you still have a New Japan guy going over. No one cares about House of Torture except people that don't watch the product. Just do the right thing, Ace. No one doesn't even get the fucking win. Hell, have Shota fucking pin Ren. And then Kai, Kaito can be like, I can't believe my career went down the pisser. Ah! And the evil could be like, <laughs> I still have a job. <laughs> I was IWGB champ. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, so yeah, Shoto pins Ren is my prediction, but who cares? Next, never open weight championship match. You got Tamatanga, which I've had some fucking dealings with these fucking tall ass Samoans throughout the years. Let me tell you something. You're not no fucking Jamal. I'll tell you that. Who remembers Jamal in a all Japan? If you do, fuck you. Get one. Jamal, 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 Jamal. If you, if you fucking know, your heart grew five times bigger. If not, you're like, oh, what a nerd. I like Tamatanga. Which response were you? Did your heart grow or were you like, Tamatanga thought that bad? <laughs> Jamal, <laughs> you're so beautiful. Uh, Shingo should be treated a million times better than he is. I have no idea. I, well, he, a, he's got a 1v1 match at Wrestle Kingdom, biggest event of the year. So that's a plus. The Never Open Weight Championship is even fucking real. Is it even fucking real? <laughs> I'm hoping Shingo wins this, but. You know, who fucking knows? Who knows? My prediction, Shingo, but I would just love to see a match. And here the thing is, if Tamatonga fucking knocks it out of the fucking park, and who's the first person? Mr. Genuine himself. I'll be like, fucking Tamatonga knocked it out of the park, boys. I was fucking wrong. Woo! I'd love to do that, but uh, I hope Shingo wins, but he won't. IWGP Tag Team and Strong Openweight Tag Team Champions. Yoshihashi and Ghetto versus El Fantasmo and Hikaleo. Uh, I love ELP so much. I want him to succeed, but I hate Hikaleo. And Yoshihashi and Goto have no fucking real opponents. Whew. I mean, Yoshihashi and Goto staying together makes the most sense. I mean, you break up that tag team there, Yoshihashi and Goto. But if you don't break up the tag team, they can go. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Plus, if 
ELP wins, they'll be the 100th IWGP Tag Team uh, Champions. So that should be interesting. Uh, I, I'm going to say ELP deserves it the most and Hick Leo's getting a free ride. But Yoshihashi and Goto staying as champs makes sense because <coughs> ELP could be a star somewhere else and Hickey Leo can be Hickey Leo. I mean, it's not somewhere else like an different company, but <coughs> somewhere else in there. Oh, God. Who, who, who fucking said that there should be a foreigner that tries really hard and doesn't fucking join Bullet Club and just a fucking good wrestler and he would get over? New Japan, I want better seats on your fucking dime next year, bitches. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I want ELP to win so much. I don't give a fuck about Hick Leo at all. Hopefully next year he could turn that around and I'm like, oh my God, I was wrong. That's the beautiful part of having being genuine. You could say you were wrong. I would love for Hick Leo to prove me wrong. ELP is absolutely fucking fantastic. Yoshiashi and Goto, this is all they got. They got nothing after this. They go to America like, oh, here's Yoshiashi. Okay, who gives a fuck? Here's, ah, oh, man, I just, Goto was so good. I loved you, Goto. But I don't know if they're going to do anything. I don't know. My brain says Yoshihashi and Goto, but my heart says ELP. Uh, I like ELP a lot. I'm going to... You know what? It's the holiday fucking season. Yoshihashi and Goto can get the title back in fucking 10 minutes. I'm going ELP and Hikaleo. I said it. I don't know if I'm taking it back. I might change. <laughs> I didn't need a junior heavyweight championship match. You got Takahashi versus El Desperado. Just give everything to El Desperado. He's so great. He's so amazing. Do you guys remember when they did Wrestle Kingdom and El Desperado stole the fucking show? Oh, it was so beautiful. And then I did nothing with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Takahashi, I love you. Salute. Double salute, triple salute. I'll never stop saluting you. But El Desperado is the baddest motherfucker on planet Earth. And we just have to let him be the baddest motherfucker on planet Earth. Um, I think Takahashi might win this. I think El Desperado would. And I just want to see a great match. El Desperado stole Wrestle Kingdom uh, within the last three years. Four years? I forget. It's been a big blur. But El Desperado once stole a Wrestle Kingdom. And he might be able to do it again. He might be able to do it again. So my prediction on the El Desperado. Next, you got a 60-minute limit IWGP Global Heavyweight Championship inaugural championship three-way. No one wants David Finley. Um, everywhere I go in Japan, like if this is David Finley, they just fold him out. They're like, okay, there you go. No more David Finley. No one wants David Finley, okay? Listen, just fire ghetto. Send David Finley to fucking Strongland or wherever the fuck that place is and just have him come back later. A little, little, little refreshed. A little refreshed. Start over. Um, Yeah. Everyone is <laughs> fucking either folding him out of the flyer or poster or they're fucking airbrushing him out and photoshopping him out. Uh, Will Ospreay versus John Moxley would be amazing, but... We get David Finley too. Who knows? Maybe David Finley rocks our fucking world and it will do absolutely fucking amazing. It's on the biggest stage, kid. You've been given everything. You're the greatest leader of Bullet Club. Holy fuck. Can a new tall motherfucker fucking, what's his name? Sexy Voice 76. The fucking guy that looks like goddamn Andre the Giant. Can he just fucking, like, have common sense? Can we just have fucking someone in the booth that has common sense? Uh, <laughs> he's the greatest David David Finley. He's the greatest book club champion ever. Take the David Finley challenge today. Does New Japan even have the archive up yet? Basically, the David Finley challenge was this. If you think he's the greatest, pick any match you want of his this year in the G1. And then pick any of the leaders and randomize it. And I guarantee the randomized, you can randomize the leaders and then randomize the G1 match. That's too randomized. That match will be better than the handpicked match by David Finley. <clears throat> Don't believe me? Well, at least New Japan's archive works, right? 
So uh, we got David Finley who'll maybe steal the show and prove us wrong. Balls in your court, kid. Versus Will Ospreay, the greatest fucking human being walking planet Earth, and John Moxley. I was gonna say if Moxley won the the E one <laughs> the fucking elite one, what is it, Coastal Carolina? No, whatever the the AEW's G one. If he won and he was triple champ, and it would make sense because then he could be a belt collector, have the global champ, the ROH champ. But no, John Moxley fucking lost. So it's like, all right. So that goes that that fucking idea. So just give it to Will. Give everything to fucking Will. Give everything to fucking Will. All right, David Finley. I wish you best of luck. I I want I want to I want to come here on one five and be like, oh, I was fucking wrong. David fucking Finley. Oh, oh, that's what happens when you have a genuine voice. That's what happens when you have a genuine voice. Um, Moxley will be Moxley. And Will Ospreay will be Will Ospreay. So this could be match of the year. <coughs> uh, and David Finley, there's got to be a lot of pressure on you. Because you are Ghetto's boy. You have this great opportunity. Just, God forbid. I know this is going to sound crazy. Have a good match. That's it. Not fucking, oh, I whacked someone on the head. Look at me. Oh, Bullet Club. None of that shit. Don't fucking embarrass yourself. This is the same goddamn stadium that Matsui held up a fucking championship for the Tokyo Giants. This is sacred fucking ground. Matsui. Abe. Baba. Anoki. Muta. Hashimoto. Chono. Step up, kid. A little fucking wackety stick. Leave that shit at home. Leave ghetto at home too. <laughs> like not at home, like in the back. Like at home, at home. And that, that guy's got a fucking family, right? <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, need a fucking hobby or something. Uh, Will Ospreay's winning this. I mean, it, it will be. I will die laughing. You will hear me dying. An old man laughing if David Finley wins this. And the match sucks as bad as David Finley sucks. I will die fucking laughing. I will not stop laughing. They might have to call fucking security. I'm going to die of a fucking heart attack inside the beloved Tokyo Dome. Bury my ashes there, you son of a goose. Because <laughs> David Finley might win this. Uh, I say Will Ospreay. It makes no sense for Moxley to win it since he didn't win um, the Triple Crown in AEW. David Finley, it's like, if he shows up and proves me wrong, sure, but he's not. And Will Ospreay is the greatest fucking human being on planet Earth. And it would be interesting. Will Ospreay, maybe he collects the belts and then destroys them and makes one super belt. <laughs> and the one belt will call him champion. And no one else will be champion. So they will go after him with the eye of the lion. And they will try to win his championship and call himself a world champion. Just an idea. Throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. Will Ospreay wins this. Okada and Brian Danielson. I am so glad. I saw a quote on Twitter and I'm so glad he kayfabed it. Okada's like, New Japan is the best because I'm the best wrestler in the world and I'm in New Japan. I would have fucking lost my shit if that wasn't in kayfabe mode. But no, he was just building up the match. They're building up the match. So, you know, I'll let it pass. <coughs> but when you see a quote on Twitter, you're like, is this motherfucker for real? And then it's like, oh, it's in a video package. Quotes a video package. Fucking nerds. So, um, yeah, look at that. Look at that, boys. If you guys, if you guys know who all three of these people are, then you are fucking awesome. Go ahead. There you go. That's a fucking bonus trivia question. All right. Okada, you got the president fired. You got everything you fucking wanted. You got the president ace in there. You got money. You got a rich, famous wife. All we ask in return is us little peasants. 
is that you bring out the fucking Rainmaker and have a good match. American Dragon. I don't do interviews anymore. Maybe I will. I don't know. I just like, look at me, dude. You fucking going to listen. Fucking, ooh. You think I'm going to give softball fucking questions? No. Um, my Brian Danielson, I was the first person to ever interview him in media. So now, I just need one fucking favor. You're going in the ring with Roger Dorn. He's going to win. He's going over. Come on, Danny. You know it. I know it. Let's not fucking embarrass ourselves. Oh, God is winning. But Brian Danielson, the reason I'm writing you this letter, dear American Dragon, don't you remember me? If not, I remember you. And I ask one thing. Make this motherfucker earn it. Make him earn it. So many times, tap, tap, tap. So many fucking times, he is the Roger fucking Dorn. He is fucking rich. He is washed. There's nothing left of his heart. All he's got is talent, but no heart. So I need you. Final countdown. He's going over. Spoiler, he's fucking winning. You know it, I know it. But I need you to force him to have a good match. Kick him in the head. It worked for Kimia. Brian Danielson, I fucking love you. And you're one of the greats. And Okada used to be one of the greats. But now he's Roger Dorn. <coughs> Can you make Roger Dorn great again? Who knows who Roger Dorn is? If you do, you're pretty fucking awesome. Watch the movie Major Leagues. I see Brian Danielson as the catcher with the bad fucking knees. Mm -hmm. And then Okada is Roger Dorn. Yeah. And for one night in Tokyo Dome, I want you to bring out the real Okada. He's winning. But that's not what we're paying money for. We're paying money for you to get the best version of Okada out in the goddamn Tokyo Dome. Love. Fat ass. <laughs> Fat ass dragon. Um, Okada's definitely going to win this, and it's up to Brian Danielson if the match is going to be good or not. 60-minute limit. 60-minute uh, limit. IWP World Heavyweight Championship match. Main event. You know what, though? New Japan. I got to give you a compliment. Not much fucking bullshit. Just straight up the bat. Guys, no four on fours, no eight on eights, no fucking six on six elimination matches. No, Japan. I cause it like I seize it. I went over this card. I thought there'd be some bullshit on this card. I thought there'd be some bullshit. No, you're, you're just giving us the fucking meat. None of that fucking leftover bullshit. No three-week-old fucking bento boxes. You're giving us the good stuff. Now, is the good stuff as good as it used to be? Hey, we could have a fucking six-on-six -six elimination match. Noah, what the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking, Noah? Anyway, main event time. You got Sonata, Mr. Always Had a Chance, the Tim Tebow of pro wrestling. Should have been great. Never fucking pulled it off. Hold on, I gotta... Get him, what the fuck did you fucking put him against the evil, you motherfucker? I hate you. Um, he had a real shitty year as champion due to, um... Fucking get him. Um, due to technical fucking ghetto. Who fucking makes your young champ that has credibility issues go against evil? For the love of fucking God. And then you got Naito, the man everyone loves and the man that's held together by duct tape. So, President H, you have a situation. Do you go with Sonata, who's younger, healthier? Well, I don't know about younger, but definitely healthier. He has everything to be a champ except promos and opportunity. But promos are pretty easy to fix. An opportunity, you're the goddamn president. 
or do you give it to the most beloved fucking human on planet Earth that can barely walk and play with his kids? This is a tough decision. I think, I think the smart thing to do <coughs> is go with Naito. I think the safe thing to do is go with Sonata. Because I don't know, how long do you, do you think Naito can be champ? Main eventing, you know, 20, 40 minute matches, 1v1. Have you guys seen him walk? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a made up story, but... His knees are so fucking bad. Muda got up out of the wheelchair and fucking gave him the wheelchair. So, Naito is fan favorite. I think they're going to pull the trigger and go with Naito. And I think Naito is beloved by almost everyone, no matter what company they're watching. And I think Sonata's career is pretty much ruined <coughs> thanks to horrible fucking booking. Not the best promos. And even though he had shitty matches, he had some real shitty opponents. Hemiyota Tazuji had a fucking great match. It's almost like if you put your champion in with better fucking wrestlers, they'll. So this is a tough call. I think Naito is going to win. I think that's the safe bet. I think that's what every fucking pretend expert in the world is going to say. I don't think I'll be that shocked if Sonata wins. Like, to me, if I if Sonata wins, it makes sense. Um, but it should be interesting, and uh, everyone's going to be rooting for Naito. And Sonata, your career was over as soon as you fucking had a feud with Evil. Your career was over. Now, best case scenario, the ace makes you go over. And then you have to have some bullshit Jay White type title run where people are like, he's not that bad. And get really good opponents and then improve like Jay White did. Or right, you're just going to be a mid card fucking hell forever. 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 Night Doe, I fucking love you. True story. I'm one of the few American bookers to ever promote Night Doe. Yep. I don't know. I, I, sh I should have, like, a fucking resume of weird shit that I've done. First person ever to interview Brian Danielson? Bam! First. <laughs> and then what's so funny? I used to, I had, I had, I used to have, like, two or three different girlfriends. Uh, not at the same time, allegedly. Um, <coughs> and I would always be like, you always say you're the first. I'm like, it's because I'm old. Stop dating old guys. <laughs> like, yeah. I was the first person to interview Brian Danielson because I was on the radio in fucking 1802. <laughs> I'm not that old, but still, you get the point. Look, uh, support your locals. Support your local Indian Federation. You never know where these guys are going to go. Uh, Naito. I'm going Naito. Okada. I mean, that's a spoiler. Uh, Will. El Desperado. I'm going to say ELP, but I'm not too sure about that one. I'm going to say Shingo, but they might fuck us on that one. Uh, Shoto will pin Ren. Kaito Kimi will act like he's important. Evil will be like, how the fuck do I have a job? Yoda, Suzuki, and Yuya might steal the show. <coughs> uh, I want Yoda to win. Uh, Tanahashi, I want Tanahashi to win, but Zack Sabre Jr. is the right call on every level. Uh, I'm going to root for TJP, but most likely it will be Bullet Club. And as far as the KOPW 2024 Rambo, I just want to see cool surprises. All right, leave your predictions down below. If you're at 1-4, one, 1-2, one, or going to be at the Rice Bowl, I'll be at 1-3 Rice Bowl. I, I, I wasn't going to go all Japan, but then all my friends like, I'm going to Rice Bowl. I was like, all right. I was like, my list of friends going to Rice Bowl. Broop. I'm like, my list of friends going to all Japan. Broop. All right, I'll go to Rice Bowl. So I plan on doing a lot more YouTube. Uh, I'm retired. And um, when I recorded this, before I recorded this in Noah, <coughs> there was a big earthquake in Japan. So... Hopefully those people are safe. And I apologize for not making as many live videos. I, I want to be a channel that makes four or five videos a day. I don't know how to build up to that type of channel, but I'll, I'll do it little by little. Just live and learn, I guess. And uh, we'll get podcasts coming out, and I'll stream as much as I can. Um, I'm probably moving the streams to Friday night, but it's not been a smooth transition. Anyway, put your predict predictions down below. If you made it this far... 
put in the word. I don't know. What, what is your favorite favorite Ninja Turtle? Let's go favorite Ninja Turtle. And why is it Leonardo? Because Leonardo leads, you son of a goose. Leonardo leads. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully one day we can high five in the mean streets of Japan and talk pro wrestling. I'm Coco Sports on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and the mean streets of Yokohama. With that, I am over. Ba -na -na -na. Hey, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I am so sick. Oops, I forgot to hit a button. It's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, love you, dudes. Peace.